Yes, guys, what are we saying? How are we from Bohub yet again? Uh, we're gonna go and do a, another explore today. It's called Derbyshire Fire and Rescue. I'm just gonna, gonna go and have a quick scout around it and wait for a couple of team members, uh, Urban Explores Derby. They're gonna be coming in with me today. And um, we're hopefully, well, I mean, hopefully we're gonna get in and have a look at it. And um, there's not that many posts on it yet. So it's hopefully not too trashed. So cool. Catch up in a second. Oh, I nearly just crossed the car. Catch up in a second, guys. Okay, guys, so I've just been there. Um, yeah, that's gonna be quite difficult to get into, to be honest with you. Um, so I've, I've basically just pooped myself and I'm driving home. Um, not really, I'm just gonna go home. Uh, just to go and get a few things, I've forgotten a few bits and I've got uh, the Urban Explorers Derby coming to pick me up. Um, we're going to go and try it again in a few minutes. I mean, I'm only five minutes down the road anyway, so it's not that really matters. So, again, catch up in a minute. Okay, so you, obviously, as you can see, I'm not in the uh, the Bohub wagon today. Uh, I, that's going to just take a little step back for now and because we're just, I don't know, it's just getting to that time of year. I ain't going to be camping out as often as I want to be. Uh, and I've got other family commitments at the moment. So, uh, a little bit about me. I am actually a car salesman, which is why I'm always in different cars. So, car of choice today is a Focus ST2. It's two and a half litre uh, Volvo engine, producing 225 brake. It's an absolute beast. Probably one of the chaviest cars I've driven. Well, in fact, no, it's not. It's not a chavy car at all. To all my workmates who drive the Range Rovers and stuff like that, they think they're chavy and yeah, you know. But I personally love them, probably because I'm a chav. Uh, this one in particular has been decatted, so it does pop flames. It's not been remapped, that's totally standard. But there's just something about these types of cars that are just, you know, they're just a bit antisocial. Um, they give stuff like, I don't know, maybe some of you more refined Golf GTIs and stuff like that a bit of one for the money. Uh, probably a fraction of the cost as well. And they're just loud, the Larry, yeah, especially the um, the older uh, Mark II folks RSs, they're an absolute nightmare to handle, but you know, I think personally pretty great going to the front wheels is wrong, but um, it's actually more fun than the old bar, so anyway, that's less of that. I'm like I say, I'm driving home now and I will catch up with you guys very, very shortly. Urban Explores Derby. Easy. Easy do. Ah, how's it going, guys? Sweet. It doesn't look like you have an app named Expos Derby Easy. If you'd like, I can help oh, okay. you look for it on the App Store. Oh, it's just uh, failed, isn't it? Managed to find out down there. Uh, no, there's um, you've got the main entrance, and then you've got a gate next to it. Yeah, we went round them last night. You did, yeah. Did you go around to the back road? I went around the back road and there's um, it's just, well, it's quite a tall fences, but I'm sure we'll find a way in. See you tomorrow. Casually rolling in style. Right then. What is that laugh? Why did the uh, why did the expert ex uh, urban explorers cross the road? To get to the other side. So, what, what are we going to do then? Abandoned place. Abandoned place over there.
Sorry, mate. I thought you were having a tinkle. <laughs> so that's obviously over there. So that's the main house that we want to get to. That's probably the oldest one, but I think that's probably going to be sealed. Eh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Safety first, guys. Get your head torches on.
don't even know why I'm whispering. Why am I even whispering? Right, I'm gonna get my head torch on, guys. I'm gonna switch my torch on. This thing's appearing there. It should be okay. It should be alright. Got okay, it stinks, doesn't it? This has been done. It's obviously the main man's room in there. Just down there, literally straight across with its light on still. It could be nothing, it could be something. Yeah, but I was watching those other YouTubers. Are they walking through? Well, admittedly, not that bit over there, but over there. To be fair, that was just like an input way, didn't it? Yeah. I reckon we're here on our own. whiteboard there. Okay guys, first bit of graffiti. Mm. Yeah, that's probably the first bit we've actually seen. I don't know what that's actually supposed to be, but it is crap. But right, let's keep going. I'm really sorry guys, but I'm on about like 43% on this, so I'm going to just do the important bits I think. Because I'm a retard and forgot all the batteries. It's probably why I've not uploaded for about a month either. That's it. To be honest with you, this. Yeah, can do. It seems it's it, it's half decent, but. Just a lot of windows and doors and stuff. There's not actually that much, is there? Someone's tried to pinch the boiler. Still there. Slightly unfortunate. Do not disturb. It's hard not to fucking disturb that. Right, well, that's a big boy, isn't it? Jesus Christ.
exits in this house is right there. I can literally see somebody watching Coronation Street as we speak. That is the bad boy that I want to get into. Oh, 